Hello. Today we'll be discussing how to set up LinMot drives for use with SipSync in LinMot Talk. Logging into the drive and initial drive setup, including the motor wizard, are covered in separate tutorials. To use SipSync, you're going to need to set the IP address of the drive. This can be done in the drive's parameter tree, here. However, in order for these settings to take effect, the IP configuration mode needs to be set to static by IP configuration. By default, the drive takes its IP address from the hex switches on S1 and S2. Once that change has been made, I can set the IP address of the drive here. When setting your IP address, make sure that the address, netmask, and gateway are all consistent with the settings you'd like for your network. If you're using a Linmot rotary motor with a SipSync drive, it's recommended to switch the unit system to rotary in the motor wizard so that the drive will process positions in degrees rather than millimeters. The other parameters in the motor wizard are covered in a separate tutorial. Because Linmot rotary motors have an absolute encoder, it's recommended to change the homing mode to no drive homing so that when a homing command is received it does not affect the position stored in the drive. By default this mode is set to actual position for rotary motors meaning that the drive will define the current position as zero whenever a homing command is received. Another useful feature available for Linmot rotary motors is the modulo mode setting. When switched to on, this setting maps all positions between the specified position limits. This can be useful if you'd like to command your drive to go to positions between 0 and 360 degrees. AOIs are available to accomplish this functionality. Now that the drive is configured, we're ready to move on to constructing a SipSync program in Studio 5000. Thanks for watching.